hello everybody welcome back to my channel um so today i will be creating this video on how to use your zoner how it works and more specifically how to use your point app because you are gonna be using this app a lot um this video is for those of you who just finished your training with your mentor but you guys feel like you guys still need more help with like uh navigating through the point app the how to log into your zoner how to do stuff around so let me go ahead and walk you through i hope this video helps you uh make sure to comment and subscribe and like the video and if you have any questions if there's any other video ideas you might have for me let me know on the comment section so i could plan some videos and stuff like that so that you guys uh have a better idea on how things work let me get straight to the video and yeah uh, in order for you to log in you're gonna use your you're gonna use your uh last six digits from your come data card uh fueling card that is and then you're gonna use your uh four last digits of your social security so let me go ahead and log in real quick and then i will go ahead and show you everything else on this okay so i already logged in now i just have to press continue now we're on the home screen home page okay so the first thing that you want to go ahead and check with the tablet once you log in it's that it's properly mounted the way we're gonna do that is by checking this icon right here if it's like that it means it's properly mounted if you see like a dash across the engine um icon it means that it's not properly connected so you just want to remove the tablet and properly connect the the tablet as you can see right now it's not properly oh well it changes but now it's properly connected if this is not properly uh if the tablet is not properly mounted what's going to happen is that you're going to have issues like first of all charging and then when you go to your clock right here to change your time if it's not properly mounted let me show you like right like that if it's not properly mounted you're not gonna be able to see the miles on the truck if you when you want to change your duty status but if it's properly mounted you're gonna be able to see i don't know if you were able to notice it but you want to make sure it's properly mounted okay okay so perfect now to check your duty status or to change it you will go right here And then, as you could see, since the tablet's properly mounted, you're able to see the truck mileage right here, and then the location where you're at, okay? And then right here, you would just put the comment, like if you change it to on duty, uh, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna change it, because that will mess up my duty status, but in normal conditions, if you wanna change from off duty to on duty for pre-trip you would just press on the on duty right here and then you would comment right here like pre-trip on truck and trailer number da 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 or you would put whatever you want to put and if you want to change to slipper berth same thing or if you're on drive mode it, it you would be able to notice it you see the number of miles right here on the truck um it's 339047 and if you go to the truck, it's the same uh, the same miles. I moved it earlier and I haven't turned it on since then. So it hasn't updated, but it, it's roughly the same, okay? But the tablet takes care of that and knows everything that you're doing. So there you go. Okay, that's how you would change your duty status. Now, another thing, if you wanna go ahead and, and check your clock, you will go here, check how things are going. Um, Okay, see, um, for example, me, for me, um, this is how my my clock looks. This is my 11 hour clock, 14 hours, 70, and my um, time, my off duty time, okay? And right here, let's say if you wanted to split your time, like let's say um, for whatever reason you got tired and you wanna take like a two hour, three hour nap, and then you wanna get those hours back on your on duty time. This is this only works for the uh, for the 14 hour clock. If you have used up the driving time, you cannot do much about it. But if you're 14 hours, 
but if for your 14 hours you have it uh you were able you took like a two hour three hour five hour break and you want to continue driving and you still have driving hours and you want to split that you would just press on this right here like that and um it will give you the the hours back on your 14 okay but that's only on like when you really need them okay now this is where you check your daily stuff um your daily like pre-trip uh, your daily pre-trip or duty time driving time and on duty and then right here ish like if you press on it right here you're able to see if you have any violations any any weird status on your clock um that's how you would um that's how you will go about uh checking that so every single time you're gonna certify a log, you wanna make sure you don't have anything weird going on, like any weird red, red, um, what's it called? Like a red dash or something, that will mean that you're in violation, or a, a black one or a gray one, it will mean that you're maybe on yard move or something like that, so you wanna check what you did, and then you certify your logs. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, if you wanna go to your, uh, change your studio, uh, change your, your duty status you could go right here also and then you press right here and it will take you back to the clock again and then one thing that i forgot to mention it's that if for example you want to change like uh to personal convenience conveyance or whatever how you say it then you would just like you press on the actual uh duty status that you want to change to and it's gonna give you like for example this one it's off duty and you put personal conveyance and then you apply and then you right here you write a, a comment like uh looking for a safe heaven or gro grocery shopping or emergency something whatever the case may be and if you want to uh, change yourself to yard move you will press this one and then you will select yard move and then right here you will just put yard or yard move to make sure that it processes it processes it if you want to cancel you could press right here or if you want to save the change that you just made you press right here i'm not going to change anything because that would affect my duty status but that's how you would go about it okay so uh oops there you go so now let me go ahead and show you how to certify your daily logs um you will go right here scroll down uh, uh right here i have two that i have to certify Okay, right here as you could see I have to check make sure that I don't have any red dashes nothing that looks weird like for example right here I was in yard move for quite some time then I put myself on duty well sometimes the system will change you to on duty as well um, but there you go I mean that looks fine so I'm just gonna agree to that and then that was this was yesterday's driving time and it looks fine my yard move and stuff it looks fine nothing red you see N nothing red so i that's fine and there you go um now if by any chance like you want to change something like um like if you for some reason you want to change the comment you put when you wrote like like right here if you put something right here like off duty and you didn't put like a reason why and you want to change that then the way you will go about it it's you press on this pen right here and then right here you i i put the 34 hour break i don't like the way it looks let me see let me change it let me put uh uh 34 hour uh break <laughs> loyal <laughs> that's funny uh, same thing but you know get the point done and then i put it i save it or if you want to change to something else right here it, it uh, try not to mess up with the clock as much but if you know if it happens if you made a mistake then you could go ahead and uh the only one that you cannot change it's if you leave yourself on uh yard move or driving time you cannot change but if you your sleeper berth or your um or your off duty you could change that yourself um and you would save
and then you see there it's saved the comment it's saved if you want to change any other comments or something else like you see right here like for the driving time i don't have the option to change it right here i could just i don't have to write a note but if you wanted to driving you don't have to drive or whatever see that would stay saved but see drive it's just a common you know it's really sometimes it, it's really good to have that in case you go through like inspection or um and they check your tablet you have everything in order and it's easier for the officers to check right here you could check your your weekly um your weekly logs and all of that you could check anything you, you if you want to um check something that's how you would do it okay now let me go home now <clears throat> i want to go ahead and show you guys how the point app works this would be the the point app logo i'm pretty sure you already know but i'm just going over it again so open it okay so in the phone it looks a little bit different but same thing so right here this is your home page which is this right here you have different um things like right here you could see your clock how your driving time your 14 hours 70 and off duty time you're able to see it here any news that's where you would see it if you don't if you don't remember where your truck and where you where you left your truck or something like that <laughs> by any chance maybe whatever is if you had a huge truck stop kind of thing and you forget where you leave your truck or you can find it you could go right here and then and the map will load up and you will be able to know where your truck would be i don't know if that will happen but you know just in case that's how you would check or track your truck and um let me see this is your messages this is your um um what you're doing next like if you're going to pick up fuel up or whatever the case may be um that's that right here it's like your trip that you're on at the moment now i want to go ahead and show you like messages like for example you press on messages you're gonna see the messages right here it's a little bit more confusing on the tablet personally for them for the loads and stuff like that i prefer to check them on my phone um like the way you would see them it's like for example right here this is the origin of the load so the destination is going to be right above it so this is the ori uh, origin for this load so right here i could press on it and then you're able to see the the load and all the information where it's going where it's heading uh you're able to see um lo trip number location where it's heading uh, this will be the information of the customer this is gonna be the part or the area uh, that shows you if it's a preload or it's a live load. Then you go down and you're gonna see your PO, your PU. My bad, sorry, I wasn't showing you properly. Uh, you will be able to see your PO, PU, the weight of the load, the pieces, and let me see what else. Right here, uh, preloaded P -do -do -do. oops right here where it says trailer type uh, 3R it's a reefer if it's a dry van it would be VN so right here it's where you would check uh, it tells you the trailer or uh, the type that you're gonna be taking or uh, to the customer or to the uh, pickup location and this is the BOL number here it gives you the trailer number that you have right now and once you have the once you there's a number for the loaded trailer that you will be picking up it will show you right here unless it's a life load okay then you would be able to see what else more information of the same thing now if you want to check the destination of the load it, the origin and then they send you the destination this would be the destination you can see the DEST and then you're able to see 
where the load is heading. This will be the location. And then right here, a special comment, uh, can deliver early. And one important thing, feature that you wanna know, it's um, like time of delivery that you're supposed to deliver the load, which is between like that, between 12 and 11.59 midnight. Then you wanna know if the load it's a drop or if it's exact i mean it's a drop an exact drop or is it a life load you would be able to see right here like you see how it says exact drop that means is you're supposed to drop the load and you're not uh it's not a life load and it gives you more information about the load typical and then on the origin i forgot to show you where the pickup appointment is at so it will be this right here from 11 to 11 so that has no open window you have to get there on that same particular time so hi everybody welcome back to my channel hi everybody so welcome back to my channel so today i will be creating this video on how to use your zoner uh how to log in how to uh the clock or how to uh check your logs and all of those stuff and also how to navigate through the point app it is very important to know the features that the point app has because it will help you a lot as a solo driver um once again don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below um on any videos they want me to create for you guys um uh let me go ahead and walk you through really quick um i hope you guys enjoy enjoy this video let me know um okay now let me go ahead and show you another feature you press on loads you see you see the load number you see the city that's heading to and where you're picking up I personally like to use loads better than the messages. The messages, I just use them to uh, make sure that everything is correct, everything is right. But I prefer looking at this because I don't get too confused. Like for example, uh, the load that I'm dispatched on right now, it's this one right here, right? So what I would do, I'm pressing on this load. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and check. So for this load, I already did all my planning. I have it over here. So when you get the load, you only get, let me show you, one that it's not pre, uh, that's not dispatched. So you see how right here, I have two loads. This is, oops. So this load right here, it's the one that I'm dispatched on. That's the one that I'm doing right now. And this is the one that I'm gonna do next. So when you, when you haven't been dispatched for a load, like you're committed to it, you, um, so see, this is all that I have. I have the route, but I don't have any specific like truck stops, fueling location. That's because I haven't been dispatched on the load. It doesn't have any miles, nothing, because like I said, um, I'm still on the other load. But for example, if, like like for example they gave me this load in advance right but i want to go ahead and uh start planning ahead of time because that's what i usually like to do for example if you want to like um add a stop a truck stop or something or check um stuff you will go right here in this area that changes from satellite to regular map i keep it regular Oops, my bad. And then to add stops, I will go right here. This is to give myself an idea, okay? So before I actually get dispatched on a load. Um, so right here, you put the distance. You can put one mile, two miles, 10 miles away. I never pay attention to that that much. If you wanna know if, you, if around the your destination, uh, on your route, if you want to know if there's any like uh, way stations and stuff like that, you press on the icon right there. 
and it tells you how many um, scales, I mean, wait stations would have to pass. Now, if you wanna know any parking spots, any rest areas and truck stops, you press on the icons and like that. I do one thing at a time. Like first I choose my truck stops. See, like around, if I take them, I, I'm pretty sure that's routing me through the 93.95 and the uh, 95 probably. There aren't a lot of truck stops, but see, that's what it would take you to. Now, like I wanna add a pilot. Let's say you press on the icon, press on it, and then you check, it tells you the location, tells you all the information of that truck stop specifically and everything and open uh, and then I add it. So now that you already added that truck stop, now you go right here. It's already added. You see? The purple means it's added. Let's say you want to add another one to be safe. Cause that's that's why, you, like you see this one right here? It's super close to the delivery location. So I would go ahead and, I would go ahead and add that one because it's really close to my delivery and that's where I would want to be. Okay, I'm adding that stop. I'm pressing so I'm able to see it. There you go, it's already added. I'm also gonna add, now I wanna add some rest areas for my 30 minute break. So let me go ahead and check a rest area. See, I have a lot of rest areas. I don't have to worry about that. Let me choose, let's say that one. And whoop, it's already added to the, to the, um, to the, this load assignment. Now, um, the way you go about, understanding how the they route you so usually like right now i'm not dispatched on the load so i'm not able to see my fueling stop okay but if after when i get dispatched i will get the locate my fueling location and that will determine where am i actually gonna stop based on that too because sometimes they will give you for example your fueling location prior to the pickup or they're gonna give it to you like whatever you know it depends on how much fuel fuel you have so now like the first assignment would be the first one at the very top which is this one right here so which would be the pickup to go ahead and uh, open your navigation you're you're gonna go ahead and press on it you see that okay now you're gonna go ahead and press right here wait Okay, now it's gonna take you to this page. The zoner, it's already programmed for trucks and all of that, so there's nothing, you don't, you, you don't wanna make any changes. You just wanna press done. Okay, now it's taking me, showing me the route. At this point, usually I, what I do is that I take notes of all the highways, all the freeways, all the international state highways that I'm gonna take. I check them and I write them down on a uh, small uh, note like this. So usually from here, I go ahead and write down those, my exits and highways that I will be taking. And I just like to check all the way. If there are any changes, like right here, I was taking the 15 and now it's the 84. And then I always do this to make sure that I know which highways and freeways I'm gonna be taking just to be on the safe uh, safe side and to make sure like in case something happens, if the zoner stops working or if my phone or something happens, you know, I have everything written down so I don't get lost. And then right here on this side, you're able to see the total miles and the hours it will take you to get there, the location where you're heading, and then everything looks fine. My clock, my time, everything uh, will be there, and then I will press start. And then after you press start. Now uh, turn left. Perfect, see right here, you just recenter, and there you go. And then it's gonna guide you where to go, Right here, it's showing you the total time to get to the place, uh, at what time you're gonna get there, 
and then the miles okay and there you go there's that make sure that whenever you exit from the prior uh, location make sure you exit completely because if you don't exit completely sometimes it's gonna give you the 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 wrong information or the wrong miles so you want to make sure that it's properly um like right now i exit completely so okay so go out oops go back okay now press on this Press OK. Enter. I mean, done. There you go. Get the point. So now, okay, so now that I already showed you that, to, for example, like if you want to add a different location or something else and you want to put it on your zoner because it's easier, all you're going to do it's go where it says add stop for example if you want to add a specific uh swift uh terminal you just go right here and you put swift transportation and for example if you want to go to the phoenix you put h phoenix and you see you see my bad and you see right here it's right there uh, da, 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 the address and Phoenix Arizona terminal Swift transportation press on it and then to add the stop you press on add stop okay there you go it will appear there uh, you see Phoenix the Phoenix one will be right here in that area if you want to add a different uh, location like you would just type down the address right here make sure you're always typing the right location the full location that is but that's how you would do it if you want to add a different address now if you want to check how the weather is gonna be and you just want to do like a quick check you press right here and then it's gonna show you you see that see that there you go that's how you check the weather and if there's any specific special comments about the load, you would go here and you it would be written right there, okay? So any special comments would be on this area or special instructions, that is. And then you would just read it, la da 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 and then whatever, you know? That's easier than going to your messages and, you know, doing all that stuff, you know? And another thing, it's that probably you already know this but it doesn't hurt to check so right here if you go to the load um this would be like the pickup right where you're picking up a load if you see right here you're able to see the time that you're picking up the date time and all that good stuff then you have the bol po the pieces the weight it doesn't have a uh, pickup trailer that for that specific one you would either have to go to the messages to check what's the trailer number or sometimes it takes some time to for the um for the shippers to send that information to the to our dispatch so sometimes they don't put it immediately or sometimes if they're still working on the load they don't know what trailer is that uh they're putting it on so like it's not gonna appear but for the most part like if the load is uh like a preload and it's ready to go the trailer number would appear there same information you will have the same information on for the destination the bol po the pieces weight uh, no trailer number trip number and everything else okay that you want to know so i really like i prefer going to the loads instead of messages just because on the tablet's a bit a bit harder okay so that's that so that's that now let me go ahead and show you the macros okay so for your macros, it's obviously this one right here. You're gonna press on it and there are all your macros, okay? Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, I will go ahead and post it as soon as possible. Um, this is all that I had to show you guys, how the zoner works, uh, some features that the zoner has that are pretty good and uh, how you're supposed to be using your um, 
your zoner and your point app and i hope you guys enjoy the video please let me know on the comment section down below if you need anything uh to know anything else if you, if you want me to touch more on some topics and stuff like that let me know and will i will gladly um help with that okay um so that's that bye thank you for watching Mwah.